only that, we find just a few pages in the Word of God here between these two people. We find a man named Nebuchadnezzar. He went wrong, would not he? He went wrong. He got from God. And he turned on God. And my friends, the Word of God said that the Lord, our God, put him out on the side of a hill. And he had to eat grass like an oxen. And the Bible says his hair became feathers. And his nails became claws, dear friends. What are you saying, Brother Cooper? I'm saying unto you, you better watch yourself. You better watch your move today. My friends, Nebuchadnezzar went wrong. Nebuchadnezzar made the wrong move. He made the wrong step. And therefore, my friends, God had to cast him out yonder. What happened, Brother Cooper? What happened? He went wrong. He went wrong. He went wrong. Oh, you listen to me today. Men go wrong every day. Our friends, history teaches us that while Nero fiddled, Rome burned to the ground. While Nero the emperor fiddled, no Rome burned to the ground. My friends, you hear me today. While Americans are burning draft cards in the streets of our nation, men are dying on a bloody battlefield in a foreign country somewhere. Where are we at today? Here's one group burning draft cards. Where did we go wrong? Another group over yonder dying in a bloody battlefield. I'm going to tell you we've been condemned nationwide for our battle in Vietnam. But my friends, we ought to be thankful unto God for the soldiers that bled and died so we could have just a little more freedom and just a little more time left to preach the gospel and have freedom of speech and have the freedom of the press in our country to stand and preach the unadulterated word of God to a lost and died, a hell bit, hell condemned, and hell deserved nation. Oh, you hear me today. I'm going to tell you, dear friends, I thank God for the man, or my friends, the young fella, or the old fella that has the courage and the enough patriotism about him to put on the uniform for our nation and stand and die. Where did we go wrong, preacher? Where did we go wrong? My friends, I want you to face the facts this morning. I am not going to pull a bunch of fiction on you. We have had too many sermons, too many lollipop sermons, too many spiritual aspirins. My friends, spiritual a pat's on the back. Too long we've not faced the issue that's at hand. Too long we've looked in past. Too long we've preached about the future. But what about the present, Brother Cooper? Where do we stand at today in this present generation? Where are we at this morning? What's our problem today? You listen at me. We need to face the facts just like they are today. We don't need to beat around the bush. We don't need to cut corners. You say, preacher, I don't believe we're in a mess today. I believe everything's going pretty good. I don't think we've got any problems. Preacher, is it not so we got better educational systems than we've ever had before? Is it not so that we can put a man in a rocket or in a missile ship and fly him to the moon? Man could never do that before. Is it not so that uh, we have better modern conveniences? Is it not so that we can push a button? And pick up a telephone and call around the world. Is it not so we've made much progress? Yes, we've made progress. But the question is today, uh, where did we go wrong? Where did we go wrong? Uh, you said, Preacher, we're doing fine. No, we're not doing fine. We're in a mess today. And it's time that the men of God and the children of God uh, came to an awareness of it uh, and stood and preached from the high heavens the word of God. My friends, it's going to take a mighty power to convince us of our wrong place. And only that power can come from what the Bible said when Paul said to Timothy, preach the word, be instant in season and out of season. Oh, that's what it's going to take. You say, well, preacher, we're doing fine. No, we're not. Listen to the facts today. I want you to decide for yourself whether we're doing fine or not. It's a known fact that one out of every three marriages in, in divorce courts. It's a known fact, my friends, that one out of every three brides are pregnant when they marry today. My friends, there is one and a half million new cases of venereal disease in our country every year. The average age in 1935 of the prostitutes in America was 23. But my friends, 1973, we find that the average age of the prostitute is 15 years old. My friends, it's a known statistical fact today uh, that half of the teenage marriages end in divorce court. Uh, and yet you say, we're doing fine. America's okay. We're making it just fine. We didn't do nothing wrong. We're all right. My friends,
friends, we're not all right. We're in a mighty big mess today. 